Hey everyone, Presito here. So in today's video, I'm going to be talking about eight upcoming GameFi project launches, which I think are going to be really pro. And it is a lot of projects I'm going to be covering in this video. So I'm going to keep it quite short on each one and give you the basics and more information about when they're going to launch and what I think about them. Also, I put a ton of effort into these videos, so I'd really appreciate if you guys can subscribe. That would be really pro. would appreciate that a lot. Anyways, let's jump straight into it so I can get into all the projects and show you guys what's coming up, what's pro and what's worth following and so on. And as you can see, the first project on the screen is Outlanders. As you can see, Web3 Gaming with Outlanders, a MMORPG with easy onboarding for Web2 gamers. So let's go to their website. We can actually have a look quickly at their trailer. You can see the MMORPG that it is. So it looks quite decent. Obviously, you can go through that yourself if you'd like. I'm just skipping through so you can see the gist of it. But anyways, so it's a medieval blockchain adventure. I'm going to mute that actually. But what makes me really bullish on this project, as you can see, it's going to be called Land Token, is that it's the first release on the Nakamoto Games SDK together with the Nakamoto Games team. And since it's crafted by the Nakamoto team, that's for me really bullish because Nakamoto Games did really well. And uh, it's developed by Naka Ventures, which is known for Nakamoto Games and Up Only, which also performed insanely well. Nakamoto Games is over $100 million market cap. And the game is going to launch on their platform upon mainnet release. And the Nakamoto Games market department is going to be handling the uh, marketing. So that's obviously really bullish. Tokens called land, like I said. In terms of the, the tokenomics, I'll go through it a bit later, but the token will launch in Q1 2024 on top centralized exchanges. Initial market cap is going to be around 750,000. I'll go through a bit more in depth tokenomics shortly. So let's have a look at Nakamoto Games, like I told you about. Market cap is currently 120 million. As you can see, it's been performing really well. If you have a look at how much it's up from the bottom, it's around 30x, which is insane this year alone. And it used to be around $5, but it's performing extremely well. So obviously that's very bullish for them. So now we can have a look at their tokenomics briefly. You can see a angel round only gets 5% on TG, same as seed round. Private round gets 10% only. Public gets 50%. And I had a look at the prices and there's a very small difference between them. So it's very worthwhile to get into the public round IDO. And I did ask them on Telegram about their TG, uh, TGE. Actually, uh, I saw on their Telegram that they said it's coming soon and to follow them for more info. So I don't have any info on their launch at the moment, but I do recommend to give them a follow on Telegram to stay up to date with everything about it. You can see that they did have a sale on Synapse, uh, Synapse Network, which is known for doing the early sales. And that was really oversubscribed. So really bullish on them. Make sure to give them a follow and stay up to date. Second project I'm going to be talking about, which has been really, really hyped, is Aether Games. So it's a trading card game, as it says here. It's a transmedia development studio that creates immersive gaming and entertainment experiences for both Web 2 and Web 3 audiences. So let's have a look at their website. And here we can see they have the Aether trading card game with uh, nfts and so on so this one i'm really bullish on maybe you guys have seen it already across various uh, channels that you're in because it's been spoken about a lot has really big guys in it in terms of their pre-sale you can see here on their website simply at the top here it says pre-sale which you can check it out and you can see here they're going to have a sale of one ala games token for 4.5 cents and the vesting is really good 25 percent at tge and the rest over five months linear release. And they're also going to have launchpad token sale. And what I'm especially bullish is that it's pretty much confirmed that it's going to be on Polka Starter. As you can see on their Telegram, someone asked them, do you have any plans? Are you on Polka Starter launchpad? And they said, yes, we are likely to be within the first launches on Polka Starter in a while. Uh, they've had a partnership for almost two years with them. And it's not going to be the only launchpad as well. But it's going to be in mid-February, as you see here. So this one I'm really bullish on. Definitely recommend you guys give them a follow as well. Next project I'm going to be talking about is 10N8 on BRC20, which obviously BRC20 has been doing super well lately. Very bullish. As you can see, they're building 
uh, DeFi and gaming on Bitcoin based on the little dragon law and IP. And obviously, as you know, it's year of the dragon in uh, Chinese for Chinese New Year. And that's really bullish. It's got this going for it as well. You can see it's the first ever Bitcoin native gamified accelerator. You can stake, play and earn. And um, that is on BRC20. There's not much information out about it. But what we do know is that they just closed a 1 million US dollar funding round in less than 72 hours, which is insane. You can see the hype is really incredible. We can see Coach K as well talking about it, saying it's super bullish and it has really big players involved and uh, probably the main ecosystem growth hackers. So that's obviously really good. And we can see that the box mining partnered with them. So that is really bullish. Of course, that's a really big person in crypto. So not much info in terms of launch. So that's why I recommend you guys give them a follow step today. See what's going on. I think that's going to be a really big one. Next up, we have Devomon. So Devomon's going to be uh, quite interesting. You can see here briefly how it kind of looks, which is quite impressive. As you can see, unleash the power of anime on the blockchain. So it's what it's got going for it is it's kind of the first anime game on the blockchain. You can see it's going to be on Google Play, App Store and download for Windows. That's all coming soon. You can see the uh, Kaliso game alpha release will be in Q4, but their sale is coming very soon. And if you go down here, you can really see the characters that they have and the different Evo mods that they have, which looks quite proud. So where they're going to launch, you can see engine starter that's going to be on January the 15th. And that's going to be for the guaranteed allocation pool. Then first come first serve is January 16th. And the TGE is on the 18th. Then it's also going to be on Red Kite Launchpad and GameFi. And those are obviously really specialized in gaming project. Obviously, GameFi, it's in the name. But GameFi launches, if you didn't know, in 2021, 2022, did very, very well. So they inclined, obviously, for it to perform. So really excited to see here. You can see the price, uh, IDO, facing 20% TGE and then six month linear facing, which is really good. Initial market cap 500K, which is decently low. Also, what makes me almost want to tell you, just do it if you have exposure to these launch pads, is the fact that they have a refund option. You can see here you have 72 hours after the list to request a refund as long as you don't claim your tokens. So there's literally zero risk, um, essentially. So you can invest in it, check uh, if it performs well, if it doesn't, or you're not happy with it or whatever, you just request a refund, get your money back. So just makes sense to do that. Also on engine start, as you can see at the top right, written really small, optional refund, three day, same as game five folders. So you can just get a refund if you're not happy. So it just makes sense to do it if you have exposure to these, like I said. Next project I'm going to be talking about is Euphorica. So this one looks really good as well. You can see it's a revolutionary MMO metaverse platform built on new cutting edge technology. It's a massively multiplayer open world platform, empowering users to have fun, grow and evolve in a 3D VR based ecosystem so we can see here kind of how it's going to look based on these trailers which looks really amazing i must say also it's incubated by kucoin labs so obviously it's going to make you think it'll be listed on kucoin i mean it wouldn't make sense if it's not and you can see some of the backers have some quite big names over here as well so if we move on to ido you can see they just announced uh, idea is going to be on trust swap red kite and game five as well so that's of course really bullish They're actually having a silly competition for some uh usdt giveaways first place gets 2500 if you're between second and tenth you get 500 each and 11 to 20 you get 300 so check that out if you want to participate and uh, you can see here on game five also i want to uh, specify a refund policy as well so this one you have 24 hours to request a refund so when it launches, if it doesn't do well, uh, you can decide before 24 hours. If you take longer than that, then you can't. You can see whitelist phase ends in seven hours. So that's quite soon from when I'm uploading this video. IDO price $0.0037, raising 150000 on Polygon. So again, because of the refund policy, highly recommend you do it if you have exposure to the launch pads. Just makes sense, no risk. Next up is Peck Land. So Peckland, as I say, is your gateway to the first BRC20 UGC metaverse. Explore unique gaming experiences with diverse digital identities. Make new friends and unlock profits through innovative social interactions. You can see you can download on the Google Play Store and coming soon 
on the app store as well so we can have a sneak peek of how it's going to look it looks quite funny actually and uh fun i mean you that but it looks quite interesting and cool to interact with people and you can make gains also by playing it so cooperation you can see here uh, they haven't announced idea or anything like that but you can see game five over here so most likely it will be on game five of course and if it's on game five then most likely it's going to have that refund option as well so that's why i do recommend to follow them if you're on game five then uh, this one could be worth doing and if it has a refund obviously it is worth doing so it just makes sense also they have a giveaway at the moment that's from january the 11th till january the 25th where they have a five thousand dollar prize uh prize pool in their token and it's via the mission zone and if you want to join make sure to check that out so that covers Speckland. now let's get to the second last project that i want to cover so block lords so this game looks really really huge it's been around for quite some time it's got really big backers you can see it's a uh, ambitious strategy game so you can see here the partners of Barclays before we go and check out their site and see how it's all going to be you can see here they've got Animoca brands they've got Delphi Ventures it's Immutable X I mean the names are really big here so that's obviously super bullish it's always good to check the backers and see who's in if we check their website and have a look at their gameplay to be honest this looks like a game I'd really like to play looks really pro kind of reminds me of age of empires and those type of games where you build up and build army i mean the graphics look really amazing and what really is pro about block lords is that it's out on epic games you can see it's in uh, early access at the moment but it is on epic games you can actually get that already and here you can see a video of how the game looks and i'm really impressed to be honest and it's got very good ratings 4.3 looks uh, really fun to be honest so i'm really bullish on block lord so make sure to follow them stay up to date i did check their telegrams not much information out regarding their idos and so on so the best thing to do at the moment is give them a follow and stay tuned and the last project i'm going to be covering is playbucks so it's the largest web3 entertainment platform in the world backed by binance labs so that's obviously huge being backed by binance labs um, mostly projects that are backed by them perform really well and it's also backed by visa a visa accelerator program 2023 so that's all super bullish so now let's check out their website see kind of how it works so this is in the nft and game farm metaverse sector they have three key features which is shop to earn where you can connect um, users with over 26,000 global merchants to get cash back and win rewards then it's watch to earn so you can watch free content from streaming giants and you can get a chance to win rewards as well just from watching content and then also have play to earn where um, you can immerse in the game center and win re uh, rewards as you can see here if you go to game center you can see how it's kind of going to look like you go to the whatever you want to play press e you play it and you get rewards so that's all very very cool in terms of some highlights it's the number one most traded nft on the bnb chain ranked number one in active dApps in the bnb chain and the only web3 project in asia backed by visa in terms of their metrics have over 200,000 followers on twitter almost 100,000 members in discord which is really huge and the listing is going to be quarter one so that's also very soon they're going to have a low circulating market cap which is really pro in terms of their user metrics 16 million registered users monthly active users is over a million and daily is over 30,000. So that's all huge and very impressive numbers. So this one's definitely gonna be a big one. You can see everything that they have, which looks really impressive. Definitely recommend to give them a follow and stay up to date with their IDEO info and so on. Hopefully you guys found this video informative. I'd really appreciate if you guys can give me a follow, as I said in the beginning of the video. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you guys next time.